Everyone's always looking for a quick fix. How can I boost my testosterone quickly? How can I have better, stronger, longer erections? Well, today I'm gonna to talk about one of these quick fixes and tell you the data behind the supplement called Tomcat Ali. Is this the magical supplement that's gonna make you better, stronger, longer? Well, stick around and find out. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're gonna to be talking about Tomcat Ali, and specifically the impact on erectile dysfunction, testosterone, and even stress. How does this particular supplement impact those areas, and what is the science behind it? Let's get to it. So Tongkat Ali is from the forests of Malaysia, most commonly, and it belongs to a family called Uricoma longifoma. And it has a number of properties that are considered aphrodisiacs, or increasing sexual desire. And it has been touted for its multiple benefits for erections, boosting testosterone, infertility, and much, much more. So before I get into how this supplement may or may not help you, I wanna be clear, this is not a magic potion. If you are overweight, if you are not eating right, if you are not sleeping enough, this isn't gonna help you. You have to work on exercise, losing weight, sleeping for at least seven hours every night so that you can get the benefits of natural testosterone boost. If you're wondering more about this, check out my video on how to boost your testosterone naturally. So the specific type of Tongkat Ali that you should be looking for if you're going to buy this supplement is the hot water root extract. The reason being is it is extremely safe at high doses and it is bioavailable, meaning it's available for your body to use. It's also very, very bitter. So if you tend to buy a supplement with Tongkat Ali and it's not bitter, it probably doesn't have the right amount that you need for it to be successful. So today, let's start off by talking about erectile dysfunction. What is the data? Well, there have been two major studies that have looked at erectile function after using Tongkat Ali. They looked at a different groups of men and they looked at them for different periods of time. But both, generally speaking, were healthy men between the ages of 35 to 60 years of age. And they either received Tongkat Ali 200 milligrams a day or 300 milligrams a day. And that could be either once a day or breaking up into two doses twice a day. And how do they measure this? Well, they did a number of validated questionnaires. And what that means is that questionnaires that have been looked at and are accurate for people to identify if a patient or person has erectile dysfunction based on a scoring system. And they looked at the number of times they attempted to have intercourse, so they kept a diary. And they also looked at the firmness of the erection, and they asked about that as well. And what did they find? Well, they didn't find that there was a statistically significant difference using Tonkat Ali versus using a placebo pill or using a sugar pill. But in the group that had more severe erectile dysfunction, they actually know that there was a little Little bit more of a benefit. So perhaps in patients who have worse erectile dysfunction, you may see a benefit. Also, they didn't find any adverse reactions to the supplement in this particular cohort of patients. So bottom line, does it help with erections? At least in the studies, it hasn't shown to be helpful in that arena. But does it help with testosterone? And how does it even work on testosterone? It's not like giving you testosterone replacement therapy. You aren't really just eating or getting the testosterone in your system. It's actually allowing the free testosterone, which is normally bound to sex hormone binding globulin, to be released and so that you have a higher level of your testosterone that you already have, and it's more available for the tissues to use for all the benefits that it provides, including increase in libido, muscle mass, cognition, a number of other things. There's also a thought that it might help reduce the metabolism of testosterone, meaning that your body uses testosterone and then it kind of degrades it or gets rid of it in the system, but it keeps it from degrading too quickly so that it's around for a longer period of time. So there's actually a number of studies that have been done on this. About five studies were reported in this paper, and in each of these studies there were a different number of participants ranging from 13 all the way up to over 100 participants 
participants and all of them had very promising results in that their serum testosterone levels did increase statistically significantly. What does that mean? That they increase and it couldn't be by chance based on the statistical modeling that was done for the paper. And so this is a real true increase in the testosterone levels. So does it help with testosterone? Seems like it does. Next and last thing we're going to cover is infertility. So does it help with infertility? Well, there hasn't been a lot of data on this, but there was one good study that was done on subfertile men, meaning men who had abnormal parameters on a semen analysis. They had reduced semen concentration, meaning when you look at a bell curve of all men with normal semen parameters, they fell in the lowest 5%. They had low sperm concentration, low motility, meaning they didn't move in the right direction, and low morphology, meaning they didn't look normal. And in these men, they ended up having 75 men who completed the study, and they received 200 milligrams per day of Tomcat Ali for a course of up to nine months. And what did they find? Well, they found that there was an increase in sperm concentration that was, again, statistically significant. And there was an increase in having normal morphology on their follow-up semen analyses after taking Tomcat Ali. So this is a very small study, but it does show some promising results. I think particularly because if you're taking testosterone replacement, that will make you infertile in men who have low testosterone. This may be an option. Of course, you would need to have a dosing of Tonkat Ali that is appropriate and has been regulated. The reason being is that some suppliers who make Tonkat Ali, one, may have very low concentrations of Tonkat Ali, which are not really useful, and fill their supplement with a whole bunch of other things just for the monetary gain of it. And as I mentioned before on other videos, that there's no regulation of supplements. So no one can tell you that what they're putting on their bottle is exactly what's in their supplement. So you have to be really, really careful and look for reputable sources. Okay, so lastly, before we finish off, I wanted to touch on the adverse events that have been reported for Tonkat Ali, meaning what are the side effects? And there's only been a couple. It's been irritability, insomnia, and restlessness. And who can't take Tonkat Ali? This is really important. So because Tonkat Ali increases the bioavailable testosterone in your body, people who can't get more testosterone shouldn't take Tonkat Ali. This means men with prostate cancer, people with obstructive sleep apnea, people with breast cancer, and in some cases people with diabetes, heart disease, kidney disease, or those who are immunosuppressed. So if you are going to start this supplement, please talk to your doctor about if this is right for you because you don't want it to counteract with any of the medications that you're already on. And there are a number of medications that you need to be careful in taking this with at the same time. If you're interested in reading any of the data that I have talked about in this video, check out the description. I've linked all of the papers that I read to prepare this video for y'all. And always remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.